and the crystalline knowledge of you. Drove me through the mountain, through the crystal like a clear water fountain. And drove me like a magnet to the sea. Hi guys, this is Lady Blind Wolf, and I'm coming on to do my part for the hashtag <coughs> that Lunar Ascension had done, and uh, did a live with him last night, my first witchy live, my first card pull, so you might want to check him out, I'll put a link in the description box if you guys want to check that out, but he wants us to talk about how like where we live and how the COVID-19 virus is affecting us. So, um, I live in a college town and we have cases because it's international. Uh, my kid who's a senior, she's been laid off from work. So with her income and my income, we were making it, but not now. Um, basically my income's the only thing coming in. So, the schools are closed, so, um, they're supposed to start their e-learning soon. So there's no graduation ceremony, most likely, no prom. Kind of sucks for the kids. Uh, non-essential businesses are closed. Um, and we did the kind of the where they asked us to uh, quarantine, you know, stay home for two weeks. And a lot of people in my state weren't listening, weren't shutting down businesses and doing what they were supposed to do. So now it's a mandatory quarantine. So we've been doing this for about a month when we'd only, you know, got supplies for two weeks. As a visually impaired person, it's been really difficult because, you know, the lovely hoarders and stuff that, you know, buy everything up. And then those of us that are, you know, disabled and can't buy in bulk or, you know, fixed incomes. So there's pretty much nothing really... Uh, at the cheaper stores where I like to go, of course, the cheapest grocery store in town closed down a month ago so you have to go to expensive more expensive stores and pay higher prices for stuff which is awesome um not doing the walmart thing because i'm not getting on the city bus to save my life if i can help it note to self don't don't get frustrated and cut your bangs when you're blind don't do that um so uh and uh a lot of people are upset and angry. I see a lot of arguments over politics. And I'm at the point where I don't do politics. I'm sick of Republican Party, Democrat Party, Trump this, Trump that, or the human party. Um, people think that if you're not a Trump supporter, you shouldn't get a check or shouldn't cash a check or what have you. And personally, I believe that the government knew about what was going on with China a lot sooner than what they let loose and could have done things a lot differently and didn't. So, in my, go my opinion, the government wasn't doing, it's kind of the government's fault that it got to the point that it did. And I'll never do Republican or Democrat again, ever. I trust a politician about as far as I can see at this point. And a lot of people are stressed out and angry and you go outside and walk to the store and there's no one there and you just feel the tension and the anger around you and it's getting to the point where I'm was struggling with intuition but boy it's a bad time for me to finally get it because I it's like I feel everybody's anger and I've got to work through it and uh, figure out a way to calm myself. 
um, a few other people are feeling it and they're reacting to it too that, that I'm friends with. So, but um, I am just, I, I have, I just don't get it. I mean, just people, you, you, you hear on the media, you know, there's good people. People are helping people, but the worst in people, it's just astounding to me. People taking stuff from old, peop old people's carts and just, I don't know. I want to believe there's a light at the end of the tunnel, but I'm finding it really hard. I know Mother Nature is pissed off, but I wish I could just, this could be something I could do to be on a positive, but not today. So, thanks a lot, guys. Peace, love, and light, and please like and subscribe. Bye.